All right, cool. Well, thank you everybody for joining me today. My name is Gabriel Brent, and I am a programmer slash trader, and I've been doing this now for about 16 years, uh, and day trading for about eight. And what I've found over my trading journey is something very, very interesting, and, and I want to share that with you today. And I could go on and on about, you know, different things that have been featured in and blah, 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 but it really doesn't matter, you know. It doesn't even matter how successful I am in my trading. Uh, the real question is, is how successful can you be, okay? So, and does this stuff make sense to you? And does it go along with your personality, with the way that you look at the world, with the way that you look at the markets, okay? So, uh, with that being said, I would like to just ask a quick question of all of you. And uh, why don't you let me know how long you've been trading? Because I want to get an idea of, of who we have here and uh, if you guys are familiar with price action trading at all. And when I say price action, I mean bar by bar reading. Are you comfortable just reading the bars? Cool. And uh, if you don't mind saying if you're a day trader or, or whatnot, that would be great too. Or swing trader, forex. We're going to be looking at uh, a few of these different markets here, and uh, as we do so, I want to make sure that I'm appealing to everybody appropriately. So we're going to be covering a lot of price action trading, and really the fundamentals of why does price do what it does. Okay. So as always, there's a substantial risk of loss, but with trading, but let's get into the dark side of trading, okay? Uh, what is the dark side of trading? Well, uh, you can find the dark side and the light side in, in every person, you know, it's, it's not very far away. But here's the dark side of trading for me, and that is, you know, getting stopped out just to see price move in your direction. How many people have been here and done that? You know, fear of taking trades, you know, the greed of putting on too big of targets that never end up getting hit, you know, and, and uh, over trading. How many people here have, have over traded? Okay. Yeah, I see some, some yeses there. And then obviously defining the elusive trend. Where, where is the trend? Why is price doing this move from up to down and down to up? And man, it's starting to make my head spin and now it's going left to right. Good Lord. You know, like, I don't know if you've ever been here or not, but, uh, but I was there too at one point. Okay. So why do the markets move the way that they do? And I'm glad to see that some of us here are price action traders because who I'm really going to be appealing to is probably the older trader, uh, the trader that has more experience behind their belt. And, uh, or underneath their belt, so to speak, just because what we look for is, is a lot of times the same type of thing. And once you see the power of what we're doing here, I'm sure it'll make sense to you as well. Okay, so why do the markets move? Okay, well, the markets move in cycles, and I'm sure you probably have heard other people say this before, but the markets move uh, from ranging to consolidating to expanding markets, okay? And basically, it's just a a pattern of like history repeating itself and at some level I'm sure your eyes probably pick that up you know like oh man look at this, this pattern like what's going on here and maybe some of you are even familiar with some of those crazy price action patterns like how many people here have heard of bat patterns and crab patterns and have butterflies flying all over your screen Any, anybody here Anybody see all kinds of weird animals popping up? On your, well, maybe you don't, but uh, they've uh, made different price action patterns out there, and it's uh, it's very amusing what the names that uh, the people give them. So, so what's going on? Why why do we see patterns? Why do we see all of this uh, structure of you know the cycles of the market? What's what's going on? Well, I'm here to say that I've gone to the most simple place with this stuff and, and really just look at it from a basic level of supply and demand. And I, I know probably many of you here have probably seen this in high school economics and I mean, it's nothing new, okay? There's nothing new underneath the sun, but we can see that the supply and demand curves shift over time and, and that's, that's well and great. But the things that I would like to highlight for you is, you know, 
up here at the top we have supply and down here at the bottom we have demand and the other thing is look at this these are exponential lines here they aren't linear lines you know because there's variable change in the market and because there's variable change in uh, the way that we act as people, so we, we, we act in fear and greed and all these emotions, all those things play into our markets subconsciously. And, and how do we look at price? Because price action actually tells us a whole lot. Remember how we're saying cycles and history repeats itself? Well, if we study the bars, we can see how these support and resistance areas and supply and demand areas play out over time. And that's really what the Epizone software started out to be, was that's what we're going to be looking at, is, is saving time, identifying these levels so that I can quickly do an analysis and get into where I should be getting into and not drawing all kinds of things on my chart. So where do we get in? Okay, So where we get in is, well, I'm sure you guys are familiar with the phrase, you know, keep it simple, stupid, and you know, in the markets, how do we keep it simple? Well, we buy low and we sell high. <laughs> I'm I'm talking elementary school here, you know, nothing complicated at all. But what we have going on here in this chart is we have the following. All right, we have an area that is low, and that has been predefined in an area that's high. Okay, and all of these different color zones. So if you're colorblind or something like that, that's cool. You know, like we've made these zones colorful so that you can attract the value change as well. Uh, these levels in red represent resistance or supply and the levels in green represent support or demand. All right, so as price shifts back and forth in between high and low, we have an idea of where these areas are and why price is doing what it is doing. Okay, so nice and simple buy low, sell high, or in this case, we're selling high, and as price is coming down, this software actually dynamically draws the variable change of support and resistance changing over time. And I say support and resistance because this is a low time frame, and we'll get into that here in just a little bit, but as it does so, uh, it accounts for the variable change in the market. Remember how we're talking about the exponential curves of supply and demand? Well, price moves exponentially, so we need something that accounts for that variable change, okay? A moving average just isn't gonna cut it. It's it's only a moving average. It's That's all it does, you know? It, it, it doesn't try to predict anything. It just tells you this is how much price has moved over X number of bars, okay? But what we have going on here is we're actually identifying, just like before in the supply and demand idea, where is high and where is low, so that we, we're not uh, buyers up here, and we're not gonna be selling down into lows, but we can actually play the extremes of the range when it's ranging, and when it's trending, we know what to do there too, okay? So that's the basic ideas of what is going on. Now, as far as all you equation buffs out there, just out of curiosity, how many tech people do we have? Do we have any uh, engineers or mathematicians? Yeah? All right. Yeah, I hate buying into the highs and selling into those too. Yeah. So, for all you equation buffs out here, this is the equation that I came up with, uh, how to quantify support and resistance and supply and demand in, in a nice, neat equation, okay? And that is by using time, all right? So let's face it, when your broker gives you data, what do you get? You get price moving over time. Super duper simple, all right? So let's use both price and time together. Okay, so how long are these zones on our chart that the AppaZone software draws for us? What time of day do we interact with? You know, in higher time frame confluence, which represents a fractal pattern. So you see a 60 minute chart here, 15 minute chart, and a five minute chart. All a fractal is, is the same pattern repeating regardless of time scale, okay? So as we see this pattern here, we see the brown zone all up there. And now this brown zone was created four days prior to price action retesting it. Okay, and, and for the price action traders, we have a double top here. And if you see a double top get broken, then what's likely to happen? Well, it's a breakout, so go long. Whoa there. Whoa. We, we, we need to back up the wagon. Just because 
a double top got broken doesn't mean that supply and resistance got broken. Okay, so that's how fractal confluence can play in our favor. Okay, so how do we get into the market based upon these ideas? Where are entries? Where are stops? All that kind of good stuff. What are we really looking to do? Well, I like that phrase of keeping it simple, right? And in simplicity form, all I'm looking to do is buy and sell pullbacks. Okay, so if we had uh, price moving up and down kind of in the wave pattern that it does, and for all you tech people, you might recognize this as something else, but I'm not going to go there right now. But as we look at this stuff, we can see that here's, you know, the peak and the trough, and as we're coming down off of the peak, that is where I'm looking to buy, okay? I can't always pick the peak, but the zones help me identify where the peak area should be, okay? And then we take the nice little bit of green right there in the middle until it retests the previous low down there, okay? So that's, that's the nice, simple way of doing it. And in this, we want to keep a nice, simple risk-to-reward, you know, make sure that the, the risk-to-reward is in line with one another. Um, so, you know, at least a one-to-one -one risk reward. Your entries, it's not trying to pick the tops or the bottoms, but it, it's letting price confirm what's going on. You know, we don't want to be the person standing in front of the bus at the bus stop. I mean, seriously, like, let the bus stop, then get on the bus. <laughs> you don't have to be so brazen, and I, I know you might be running late, but don't stand in front of a bus and tell it to stop. It's just not a smart idea, you know? Let, let the, the bus stop, get on there, and then make your way to the profitability destination, okay? So, and again, this, this technique uses predicting price and confirmation of price so that we have a plan and we can do something nice and simple, okay? So, when are we going to trade? And really, what this is made for is to help us stop over-trading, all right? Because when you first start out, and I don't know where everybody here is on our journey, but I see that we have a few people that are, you know, just a couple years into things. And when you're brand new to trading, you sit down at the chart and you say, okay, I'm going to sit down here and I'm going to make some money. And we're going to get in there and I need to trade a bunch because, well, I need to make money today, you know. And you start pulling the trigger and pulling the trigger and then your account goes red and th then you're like, oh man, oh, that's not so and, and now you're trying to get your way out of the hole and, and you have a tendency to overtrade, especially at the beginning, all right? And, and, that's, and that's pretty common, okay? So there's got to be a better way. And remember how we're talking about time before in the uh, support and resistance and supply and demand? Well, I did a huge analysis about time, and what does time do, okay? Is there a way to measure time consistently? And what I found out is, well, let me ask you this. How many people here eat supper at the same time of day, right? Yes? Uh, absolutely. Uh, all of us eat supper. Uh, all of us go to work at roughly the same time of day, every single day. And those patterns come into the market because it's not just you. It's not just me. It's, it's the institutions. It's the, the dark pools. It's the hedge funds. It's the nations all playing the markets together as we see price moving up and down. And at a very fundamental level, we all do things in a very systematic way, in a pattern way, you know, and and this is really what we strive to encapsulate here, okay, and we're looking at the tops and the bottoms of the hour as well as the first 15 minutes, so there's something very special about the first 15 minutes, and yes, I know I've made the chart look like a zebra, but it's for a purpose, and we're going to see this actually play out here in some live charts. So by limiting when I want to trade to only when we're in a time zone, so much stress is taken off. That over-trading idea, out the window, okay? Uh, it, it just doesn't happen because you only give yourself during these special times of a day the opportunity to trade. So we're going to see all this stuff in action now, all right? So we've talked about the price zones, we've talked about the time zones. So when both of them 
come into alignment, well, the skies open up and God smiles at you and the rainbow happens. It's, it's absolutely wonderful. Well, not exactly, but it does give us a signal. Uh, so the software gives us a signal when price action and time and uh, the zones all come into alignment. And you can see this happening here in this trending day. You can see the little green dots popping up there at the, the time of day. And it, it's really, really something. We're actually going to see it here today. Because it's done it on this day, it will continue to do it tomorrow. It's just all about statistics. It, it's, it's a statistical approach to what we're doing. And I, I think statistics is something that we really need to, to bring up here. Because we are numbers people. We're looking for statistical edges. Okay, so. What we have here is a probability of 100 trades, okay? So if you look at the, the winning column here, all right, that is whatever your winning percentage is. You tell me what your winning percentage is. And then these columns here, two, three, four, that's how many statistical losses you could have just out of a sample size of 100 trades. And when I looked at this, this was absolutely amazing, absolutely confounding to me why more people don't start here in trading because look at this even at winning like 80 percent of the time easily have three losses in a row it's statistically very probable okay 89 percent of the time you'll have two losses in a row three losses in a row no problem whatsoever you know where are you here and when I asked myself this, it, it made sense as to why so many people struggle with trading. It's because we can't play the statistics. We're looking for the edge, but we can't play the statistics because we have to be right. Okay? And our job isn't about being right. It's about being good risk managers. Okay? And how does it emotionally feel when you take the fifth losing trade in a row? Statistically, that could happen, but you're still at 70%, okay? It's just statistics, all right? So we have to ask ourselves if our emotional state isn't changing things. And, so, and that's really where the Appazones community comes in as we support each other. Hey, I've had four losing trades in a row. Today's been a bad day. But you know what? What I've learned about all of this is one losing trade is one step closer to a winning trade. And it's really changed my perspective on, on what all this stuff is. Now, we're going to get into what our system can do for you. And, and we've talked a little bit about the zones and about how they identify high and low. But, but what are they? Well, they identify consolidation and expansion. Okay, And once we learn the basic ideas of what moves the market and, and how buyers and sellers are interacting, it gives us a roadmap. And as we look to our computers to help us out in trading, I think it's important that our computers help us. And I was inspired by watching a documentary by this, this software called Watson, and it plays Jeopardy of all things. And I was like, dude, that's so cool. And they're talking about this neural network thing, and I was absolutely amazed. And for those of you that don't know what a neural network does, basically you have an input layer, uh, let's just say price, okay? and price events, and then you have processing and optimization, and then you have the output, okay? So in our case, this is what it looks like. We have price data that's inputted, and we have what I like to call market events, okay? And all these market events tie into five points of control, all right, or five, uh, five weighted scales, okay? And it uses time decay as well as optimization to rate those five scales. And then the output is it gives us trend. And it gives us an idea of what the current market context is. So over here at the top left of your screen, you can probably see this very, very small, but it, it will say the trend is down and ranging and possible chop. It'll tell us if it's the trend is rolling over, or the trend is chopping, or the trend is ranging. It, it tells us all of that, OK? so that. It's very nice and simple. We see the green background, and then as we go through this period of consolidation, it turns 
lighter green, and then we break out into a strong trend, and then a pullback, and a pullback, and a pullback, you know, and the same is true for the other way. And if you want the software to give you the nice color background, you can definitely do that, you know, or if you just want nice clean charts like myself, you can just have the readout up there at the top, and you can see how all the inner workings are rating it, everything. A lot of people will say that there's sugar and spice behind things, and I don't believe in that. Uh, I believe in pure price action trading. And if you've never done price action trading before, then I really recommend you start out with a price action school, okay? And the price action school is going to teach you the fundamentals of what goes into this neural network, okay? Because all that matters in my mind is price. And it's amazing how often price actually gives us an indication of what it's going to do even before the major news events and stuff come out. It's, it's absolutely amazing. But you have to be able to read that price action. So if you guys want to get started with a price action school, it is a four-week school and it's a mentored school. Again, we're, we're all about community and building community. And so we have coaches that will help you learn how to read the bars, bar by bar, and in context of one another. And that, that goes into the price action school, okay? And here's a little bit more information about that as well. All right, so, and I think it's really important that you understand this stuff because as we get into trading the stuff, it's going to make a whole lot of sense here, okay? So, when it comes down to it, we want to make trading as simple as possible. We want to buy low and sell high. So if you can do it in one trade, boom, you get 12 ticks, 30 ticks. Look at the Y value there. That's what we're looking for. And that tells us how many ticks you get. You know, oh, we can easily say, hey, this was trend following. This was counter trend. Oh, I made a mistake. I did a counter trend when I wasn't supposed to. All that kind of stuff plays out, okay? And, and it helps us in the probabilities of the statistics behind our strategy, all right? So that's what we're really looking for, and that's what the software provides, okay? So that we can easily do the trend follow trades, the software pops up with the diamonds in the trend follow direction, and you just, you just take it because you know what it's referring to, you know why it's there. there there's no secret sauce involved. So let's go ahead and look at some live markets and you guys can see uh, some of my trades today and actually something that I'm managing right now and and why I did what I did, okay? So first off, here's crude oil. Our neural network software says it's down and trending. Okay, that is cool. Uh, keep me informed. Thank you, Mr. Neural Network. So, uh, What's going on here? Actually, before I get into that, I'm just going to get into the, the software. Uh, this software has been in development for eight years, all right? And we call it the Elite Software. And it has all kinds of wonderful bells and whistles. So uh, it can, like I said, if you want to see the, the colors, we can show you the colors of the background changing, okay? If you want to see those times of day that we're talking about, it can display that. It's like I said, 15 different price action things, including time of day, all built into one piece of software. It's very, very advanced, okay? But don't let it, the advanced stuff work, uh, uh, confuse you or, or, or be too much, uh, because at the end, uh, <laughs> the application of it is very, very simple. And, and yes, you can make it text you, okay, if you put your, phone number in there with the right ways, this thing will actually send you text alerts of when the setups are happening. And it's it's really, really cool stuff, okay? So we have chop filters, all this kind of stuff is built into it, but when it comes down to it, all you have to do is click it, apply it, and you're good to go. You can put in the your email address, you can change colors if you want to, but those are all extra things you want to, if you want to do. And if you want to build it into the market analyzer uh, or into a radar screen that scans all stocks and futures and forex and ETFs, we have that available too. But at the basic core, it's just going to tell us trend, uh, what trend direction, and whether you're ranging or chopping or whatever have you. Okay, so in the trades today here, I have to be a little bit careful. Um, we have a nice little diamond, boom, at the top of the hour, 
or excuse me, I should say at the bottom of the hour. You can see these dots popping up here at the bottom of the hour. And, and even at the first 15 minutes, uh, that one kind of worked out. And I actually had a trader that took that one. They did get their T1, but uh, they also got stopped out on the runner. So then at the first 15 minutes, we also had a signal there. You know, and you can see how simple this stuff turns it into. Okay, so I took that one short after the diamond popped up, got a T1 looking at that Y value there, looking at the Y value there. I pulled it all off because at that point I realized that we could be hitting major uh, demand down here just because of the things that I saw in the overall price action. Okay, so then at the top of the hour, Boom, I reverse the position. T1 at a quick nine ticks. T2 at the previous high. And now we're still running into T3. T3 is set one tick below there. All right. And when I go to enter this position, well, for me, I was looking at that double bar and golf. And you obviously can see the diamond down there. All right. And with this strong price action, told me that. Price was really rejecting that low down there. And so then I took it in the opposite direction because price had made a market event. Price had done something very interesting right there. And we took it to the long side. All right. And right now the market's just kind of drifting, so we're not really going to worry about that too much. But that's basically how it works. Okay. And then, oh, YM. This was really, really interesting too on this one. Uh, uh, the first trade of the day, I got stopped out on it. It happens. But the next trade of the day, took a little engulfing candle to the upside, got a quick T1, got my entry retested. Always expect to see your entries retested, even when you're a good trader. Always expect that to happen because you remember that first part of the dark side of trading? I, they always retest your entries, okay? So then I got T2 right here, if you look at the, the Y value. And T3, I got stopped out. And, it, and this thing has continued on to the upside, but we want to take trading and we want to make it very, very simple, okay? So that when it's all put together, when the elite software is powering your trading, we have the elite software telling us what our trend is, whether it's down or up or rolling over, uh, whatever those settings may be. And then we have the methods. Uh, remember the diamonds that were popping up? I can instantly scan all these different instruments all at one time and I can say, oh, well, I'm interested in NASDAQ or I'm interested in the pound Aussie or whatever market you want to be watching and scanning for. So it makes it nice and simplistic because understanding price actions should be nice and simplistic. It, it, we're, we're simply looking to buy and sell the pullbacks, you know? And so when we see the trend is up in a market like this one, all right, we see the trend is up. Now we're just looking for a good pullback area, all right? See the, that the market's down here. We're just looking at where's going to be the pullback area, okay? So if the trend is down and we're making new lows, I'm going to be waiting until we're at a relatively high area before I get back in, okay? You can see me identifying some of these areas here as I, I'm also a Forex trader, all right? So yes, we can do this stuff on stocks too. It, it doesn't matter. ETF, stocks, Forex, futures, all the above. You know, uh, we, we really feel like this is, well, it's been in development for a, quite a while, you know, so we feel like by giving us market context and market direction and just a simple diamond as to when all the conditions have become true, you know, and there's 15 different filters just on Elite and then you add in, it's just absolutely mind-boggling. Your, your brain and what it can process is absolutely incredible, yet we would say that, oh, the market's consolidating, oh, the market's chopping, but what your brain processes to do that is awesome, okay? And what a, a veteran trader does to, can, to, to look at that and say that, absolutely amazing. And that's really where the software comes in. This is a speed up tool. We want to speed up everything. We want to speed up your analysis. We want to speed up 
your uh, learning curve. So learning how to trade profitably and successfully doesn't take you a long time. All right, so we have market context and understanding why the market moves, where the major pullbacks are going to be. We predict the future based upon supply and demand and support and resistance principles, just to keep it really, really simple. We're using time to time our trades, you know, and to say, hey, even though I'm staring at this computer screen, I don't really need to pay attention to price right now because I know price isn't probably going to do X, Y, Z right now, okay? And it gives you freedom, uh, maybe to go do other things throughout the day. You know, personally speaking, I only want to trade the first two hours of the day. Okay, I only want to day trade the futures the first two hours of the day. If I don't find a good trade by then, you know, like here on YM, uh, YM was my major trade of the day. Okay, uh, I, I and I had a losing trade the first right out of the gate, you know, I spent a lot of time, I went through several different time zones, and I had a losing trade the first thing, because I knew that we were in daily demand mixed with a 60 minute level, okay, so I can turn on my 60 minute time frame, and it superimposes it right there for me, so I know that this level is low, and I look up there, I know where it's high is as well, you see that 60M and the, the aqua zone up there? Those colors actually mean something very, very special too. The color of the zone represents how many times price has retested it. So if it's nice and aqua, it means that we should get one retest to the level and then uh, price should respect that level to some degree. And every time price retests it, it changes price um, or the, the color of the zone to a different color, okay? And so it just helps me instantly recognize, hey, do I have weak support or weak demand? Or do I have strong resistance or strong uh, supply? Okay, so those are the types of things that help me to instantly identify this. And now for the multiple time frame tool, and again, we can apply this to any chart out there, all right? Uh, you know, we're, we're covering stocks and, and or excuse me, I was covering options with the market analyzer and it, it scans all of those at, all at one time, you know, so it, it's absolutely amazing and, you know, we can apply it in a multiple time frame uh, capability. So if you're looking, you can have it work on range charts or tick charts or volume or minute charts, whatever chart you can bring into either NinjaTrader, TradeStation, uh, Sierra charts or uh, MT4, we can give you the analysis on, all right? So that's what we're doing here, and uh, that's a little bit of all the bells and whistles behind the scenes. So if you guys have any questions, please feel free to ask those, all right? Because really what we're trying to do is we're trying to create a community of profitable traders that give back, all right? And when you join the Appazones community, this is what you're getting, all right? I'm going to show you an inside view of what you're getting when you join uh, with Appazones. You are getting to join a community of traders, okay? And if you can look over here, we have a mentorship program. It's one-on-one -on -one mentorship, all right? We want to strive to uh, really hold each other's hands, you know? Uh, somebody pulls you up, and grab somebody else's hand and pull pull them up as well, all right? Uh, all these different messages of people uh, doing different trades, you know, and, and their analysis and uh, why they're getting in and all kinds of stuff all goes on in our Skype room. And then we have weekly live training events, okay? And then we have wonderful software that you can download and, and a video library, okay, for just basic education, all right? The video library is there for basic stuff, but once you enter into the mentorship, you get an expanded video library and it covers everything. It not only covers, you know, trading psychology and things of that nature, but it also covers your trade plan and your business plan. Okay, so if you want to check out our trade plans, you can do that, all right? If you want to check out our 
our track record here. You can do that as well. All right. Here's our, our trade journal. And you can see what we've been doing for the past months. All right. This is just one of one of our uh, mentorship uh, traders here. Okay. Let me see if I can bring this over here. You can see what we're doing. Okay. And, and this is what we're doing over the past month. It, again, it's just simple, very very simple stuff. Trend follow trades, long shorts. You know, multiple contract trading. All right. Uh, and, and I think it's important that we do multiple contract trading because it allows us to be good money managers so that we can take quick profits, but yet we can hold on to the runners that can make amazing profits. Okay? Uh, for instance, uh, just to share with you one of those, I've been in the Aussie dollar here since this morning. Oh, wait, well, since last night. I got T1 down here at 41 ticks and 81 ticks down there, okay? So it, just keeping it simple like that and realizing that I'm just taking this nice little bounce off of this zone and I took it down to the next zone, all right? Just, just that simple little bit, you know, remember keeping it simple, selling the pullback. And, but I know exactly where the pullback's happening and, and why it's happening there, you know? So price failed to break higher, gave us a little lower low and pushed down. And so we want to keep it simple, you know. Now, do we have winning trades all the time? Absolutely not, you know. First trade of the day was a, a loss to, uh, for me on my futures account. It happens, you know. But all in all, by me being able to take these quick little targets, I can scalp into some amazing positions that it's absolutely awesome. And literally, um, you may find this very silly, but uh, <laughs> this is what my, my targets look like. T1 is my scalp. T2 is play the range. T3 is make it look good. <laughs> like, trying to keep it really, really simple here. All right? So that's what we're doing. And uh, this is the, the website over here, appazones.com. And again, if you guys are not familiar with how to read price action, I really encourage you guys to get involved in that, okay? Uh, this is just a very simple course, and it's a four-week class, four-week class that's mentored, all right, for $97. I mean, it's, it's literally nothing, okay? So, and in that, you're going to be doing uh, videos, you're going to be watching videos, you're going to be turning in homework to our mentorship uh, people, and they're going to be giving you feedback, all right? And this is just the first part of what the, the real mentorship looks like, all right? And in the mentorship class, in order to get the elite software and everything like that, that you saw me that defines all the trends and, and everything and just keeps it nice and simple and, you know, like two-chart trading, and only two hours a day, man, I should probably come up with like a two, two, two thing. Two chart trading, two hours a day, two targets. Ooh, there you go. Uh, <laughs> something like that. I just keep it really, really simple. But in the mentorship program, we give you the elite software, okay? But first, we want to explain to you exactly how that neural network is processing, what's going on in the background how it's working, why it's working. We want to give you the price action fundamentals so that reading this price action on here makes sense, okay? We don't want it to be mysterious or, or anything like that. It, it needs to be nice and simplistic, okay? Uh, because I think trading can be simple. It's just, well, you can either, you can either go through the school of hard knocks for a couple years and see if you make it to the next side, or you can have somebody give you a hand up, okay? And by us being able to teach you true price action, you can go into any environment. Um, I'm teaching at UCLA right now, uh, and, and I can go in with a blank chart, absolutely blank, you know? Yes, I could show you all the levels and, and everything like that, show you all the software, but I can go in with a completely blank chart and I can do my whole analysis and tell you what, what's going on because I know why price action is doing what it's doing. 
and that's really the power that we can give you. All right, and we're looking at the statistical edge. So we're going to take all of this stuff and we're going to apply it right back into the statistics, okay, of, hey, we know that our system hits 80% of the time. That means trade number four, dude, I, I've seen three losses, but I know trade number four is likely to hit, all right, because I know where I am in the statistics. A losing trade is just one step closer to winning, okay? And it doesn't matter if I show you crazy big trades of me getting massive amounts of, of money or of targets or being able to trade the whole trend. It, it, that doesn't matter. What matters is how good can you be? And, and are you a good risk manager, okay? Uh, because the market conditions change. Variable change happens. Life is full of change, and, and we need to be able to have the statistics and the edge of the statistics playing in our favor more so than, hey, I, I have this really cool thing that works, that's been working for the past couple of years, you know, uh, it's really great, and then all of a sudden one day it stops working, you know. We need something that's tried and true. So I can show you levels from the big weekly chart here. Let's let's look at some weekly levels, in fact, all right? Let's just go ahead and do that. So we're just going to turn on the zones, and we're going to show you how old some of these levels can be, okay? And given how much data you have on your chart is going to determine how old these levels get, okay? So if we come in here and we load Let me think about uh, what market's been, oh, what market's been retesting uh, big weekly levels, okay? So there's price hitting a new aqua zone, which means that price is going to recoil to the upside a little bit out of this big weekly level right now. But look at how old this level is. It's two years old. It's not very big, but price is recoiling off of it right now on the weekly charts, all right? And I, I know why it's doing what it's doing, okay? I, I know why this is low right down here. It's fresh. It's new. Of course it's going to recoil off this level, okay? So that's the kind of power that we're looking at here. I mean, we can use levels. I've used levels that are seven years old, you know, in, in swing trading and stuff. It's because I know where these levels are.